Hello everybody in YouTube land and also everybody who's watching live on Twitch. We are continuing the Cyclopean Foundations with scenario three, private lives. I have that font face on my, on my computer. It's a great font face, just nice and ominous. All right, private lives, here we go. Though the, rain and subs though the rain subsided while you were at the auction, the late night air is still damp and frigid. Your mind dwells on the many possible confrontations with Wycliffe as you march briskly toward his estate in French Hill. It's difficult to predict the conversations of a man that you know so little about. James Wycliffe isn't even a native of Arkham, having moved here from out of state several years ago. You believe him to be a retired architect from Pennsylvania, from what the articles about his earlier expedition stated, but it's clear that he's something more than that. The one thing that is certain is that he knows the truth about these strange events tonight. Wycliffe's manor slowly comes into view as you round the corner to his street. Its design straddles the line between compliance with the French Hill aesthetic and the flair of modern Art Deco architecture designed by Wycliffe himself. Your appreciation is understandably minimal as you tread the garden path up to the front door. You seize the brass knocker, intending to wake the whole household if need be, but the door swings open limply at first touch. Never a good sign. The questions that have been percolating your mind all night evaporate in a flash. There, just beyond the mantle in the dim light of the street lamp behind you, lies the body of James Wycliffe. I ain't surprised, yo. His face is frozen in a mask of terror and it is clear from the bloodied holes in his evening jacket that his death was anything but natural. You stand in stunned silence until a creak from the upper floor echoes down at you. Whoever murdered Wycliffe is still here, but why? Your mind races to the facts until you arrive at a single new objective. Wycliffe may be dead, but the answers to your questions must still be somewhere within his mansion. Whether the murderers want to learn the truth for themselves or simply destroy it, you had certainly better find it before they do. Getting a lot of stir of echo, uh, sorry, uh, echoes of the past here uh, by not the film with Kevin Bacon. The murderers seem to know plenty about Wycliffe, but you still need to make up lost ground. You begin at once with the corpse. At first the body seems bare of anything but clothes until a glint from the street lamp reflects off of Wycliffe's fingers. A silver ring etched with strange symbols shines up at you. Anything unusual could be instrumental in unraveling this mystery, so you pocket the ring before beginning your search of the manor in full. We gather all cards from these sets. Check the campaign log. If you have four or more notice, we have, I believe, six. Uh, also, gather the cards from the countermeasures and counter set that matches the class, right? Okay. So we need Seeker. And then we need Survivor, which is going to be all the way down at the bottom. Boom. Shuffle those in. Easy. Get the deck lists away. Boop. Uh, check the campaign log. If you have four or more notice, during this scenario, use Agenda 1A, Active Crime Scene, Version 2. Uh, four, one, more, four more notice. Boom. And then we remove the other TikTok men from the game. TikTok, stick into schedule. Get out of here. So we need the you're on their time. That's the one we need here, folks. Nice. Uh, one investigator must add Wycliffe's ring to his or her deck, so we did min for that. This card does not count towards the investigator's deck size. Before drawing opening hands, set it aside out of play, put it in the hand, I've already done that. Set the following cards aside out of play. We begin in the entry hall, and I believe then that is that. Beautiful. Oh, we have an interlude. You gotta love interludes. Entry hall, makes sense. Zoop! All right, as an action resign, you leave before the assailants can turn their full attention towards you. If there are no clues on the entry, I'll read evidence one under the interlude. Beautiful. Let's put Minty Fan here, Silas Marsh there. Wycliffe's ring is after you discover a clue, exhaust it. You get plus two skill value for the next fight attempt to take this round, and then uh, opposite, after you defeat an enemy, you get plus two for the next investigate. Uh, underneath our ancestral knowledge, we have these five skills. I'm going to keep them face up because I'm recording this game for other people. I'm not playing it for just myself. Uh, we've no, uh, resolved our opening mulligans. 
And as you can see, we have no uh, weapon in Silas Marsh's hand, so that's going to be a priority. We need to get a weapon yesterday. Okay. Active Crime Scene Version 2. The assassins are still somewhere in the manor, but just who are they? They seem to be the same group that robbed the Obanians, but if they're not working for Wycliffe, then for whom? Whatever secrets Wycliffe knew, they clearly don't want to be discovered by others, which makes your mission that much more important now. Six Doom advances. Um, if at least five of the fallen are true, the investigators may choose to advance. Study the architecture, read the news clipping, search the secret room, found Wycliffe's valet, read Wycliffe's journal, retrieved Wycliffe's letter, and we interviewed the broker. I'm going to get a pen and paper for this because that is a lot of things to remember. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. I think these can go away. Boop. Boop. Alrighty. Well... Honestly, Min's uh, looking pretty good here. She has a lot of things she wants to get out, but the Hawkeye folding camera is more important. Uh, is it more important than Dr. Malan Christopher? No, because we can do that next turn. Let's get the let's get the resource engine going. So that's action one. Action two, we're going to investigate. Let's just make sure we have no of these. No, all right, perfect. We're going to have five to the game's three. I guess I should get these things out, shouldn't I? Seems helpful. We have a Relic Hunter with Silas, which makes sense, because we have relics we want to play. And we have clues with no clues on them. Source, minus four, but it's non-Euclidean. Okay, so minus two is pretty good. We have five to three for action number two. Okay, sure, sure. We'll go again at five to three. Minus zero. We will grab a clue and a resource. You'll love to see it. Now, Silas... Silas, my friend. We're going to start by investigating. We're going to commit this unrelenting to this. And we're going to seal the plus one, the zero, and the zero on this test. So that means we got to draw two cards. Backpack is a huge get there. Um, so we're going to be investigating at three all. Uh, no conspirator enemies at my location, so we do not lose a resource. So we're going to return this to our hand. Um, action number two, so we fail. Uh, we're going to play this backpack. Which allows us to search the top 12 cards. Wow. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So our sp uh, thing's down there, but we do have a fire axe, which is, you know, better than nothing. Right? We need to get... We can get items. We get up to three items, I believe. Yeah. So, a lot of choices here, and by a lot of choices I mean three. So we're going to choose those three. We're going to choose a fire axe, the grizzly totem, and the net. Okay. Boop. Um, action number three, we're going to get a weapon out. Seems to be the important thing to do here, because then we can at least fight. We do want to get the um, harpoon because the harpoon, in my opinion, is one of the best melee weapons in the game. So we need to get that out yesterday as well. Okay, upkeep phase. All right, that's an easy solution to solve, especially if we don't draw an enemy this turn. Let's double unrelenting is sick. And boom. Let's see what we get here. First card. Missing pieces. If you do not control any clues, it gains surge. Otherwise, test brain three. And this, this test gets plus one difficulty for each conspirator enemy at your location. If you fail, place one clue on your location for each point you fail by. That could get really brutal later on. But we're going to just test this at four to three. Because if we just lose one action, I mean, technically two, it's really not the end end of the world. And we just don't want to spend resources on this when we don't have to. Yeah, we fail. All right, and over here. Test foot X for X to the shroud of your location. If you fail, take one damage and discard the top three cards of your deck. If you fail by two or more, draw each weakness discarded. Uh, we are going to commit uh, an unrelenting to this. We're going to seal uh, Elder Sign plus one and a plus zero. So we'll draw two cards. Uh, and then we will go testing at five to three. 
Hey, look at that. All right, we won't return this to our hand because we already have another Unrelenting and now we have something that we can use our, our Elder Sign on. So we fail. So we're going to discard the top three cards of our deck. One, two, three, and we take a damage. Honestly, that's fine. It's totally A-OK. -okay. Okay. Well, Silas, you're going to have a really boring turn here. You're going to play Yaddle. Yeah, more. you got to get him in Silas. There was a time, there were turns, I'm not, I don't want to spoil much. There was turns when we were playing Innsmouth Conspiracy, and I had a Eucatastrophe, and I was like, you know what? I don't need to play this because I have no targets, so I'm just going to fail this test that I kind of want to pass. Um, all right, and then you're going to get rid of this for Min. Because Min has more important stuff to do, like play this Hawkeye folding camera and then start investigating. Uh, do one of these matter? Probably a sharp vision would be sick here. So let's put this into our hand. Uh, and then we'll investigate for our second action. We have four, five, six, seven, eight to three. Nice. So we're going to succeed... Uh, by two or more, so we're going to grab two clues. One additional clue. Yes, just making sure I'm doing that right. And we'll gain some money. And for our last action, we're just going to investigate a five to three. Uh, we could also play the Dream Diary. Like, that's really not a bad choice. I mean, we just draw the Necronomicon. That's like the worst case scenario. Yeah, that's a pretty soft worst case scenario. Okay. Upkeep phase. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, sorry. That's a resourceful coming our way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beauty. Two of six. Uh, attach obscure cipher to the reveal location with the most clues. Attached location gets plus two shroud, and no more than one clue may be discovered from the attached location from a single action or effect. After an investigator successfully investigates or discovers clues from a connecting location, we discard it. Interesting design. I like that. Kind of just makes you go out of the way. All right, well, Silas just doesn't... He's just hanging out. He's having a good time. Sorry, I should put these here. Cool. Okay. Okay. Well, let's uh, start exploring, right? Min is going to hop on over into the living room. As a lightning bolt, if you found a strange ornament, put the set aside private study location into play at the end of the round. If there are fewer than player clues on it, add one clue to the living room. Honestly, this location seems pretty sweet. So we're gonna investigate at five to three. Sweet, we're gonna grab a clue. We're gonna go again at five to three for our last action. We really wanna pass this. We did, perfect. So this goes away. But what's important is now this, we're starting on the Hawkeye folding camera. Oh, this should be in our hand too. We're starting on our Hawkeye folding camera, which is nice. Now Silas, what the heck do you do with your time? Suppose you play this teddy bear. And then why don't you gain a resource and play Grizzly Totem? Might as well, right? Not much else to do. Upkeep over here. Upkeep over here. Discard this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're three of six. I feel like we're making no time, but we're also making... Uh, Tons of time. Who knows, right? Upkeep. Cleaner. Wild. If it is, if you had a location with shroud value three or less, spawn them at your location. 
At the end of the round, if he's in your hand, reveal it and it attacks you. What the heck? Add one clue. Yeah, good call. Good call. We should have one more clue. Uh, four. Yeah, we should. Wow. Thanks, chat. Look, I'm always happy when I make a mistake that's not a positive one. Test foot three. This test gets plus one difficulty. There are four more due on the current agenda. If you fail, take one damage. All right, we're testing four to three. You know, we'll discard the top card. Excuse me? Uh, minus zero. We're fine. Okay. So make it grab a clue, move in here, and then spawn this guy. That does seem like a fine use of our turn. Because then Silas has something to do. And then Silas has something to do. So yeah, we're going to investigate this location. We have five... We need to pass this. We'll go five, eight to two. Uh, it is excessive, but this card's essentially free, so we can be really wild with it. All right, that's huge. We're now up to six book, which is a very comfortable number. We're gonna move in here for action number two and then action number three. Help me, Silas, help me. And then Silas says, I'm gonna kill this man with this ax. Uh, so we're going to attack at four, five, six, seven, eight to three. Don't miss. Nice. We did not miss. This man's dead. Uh, Silas, why don't you check out the world? Let's come up here. Shuffle a non-weakness card from your hand back into your deck. That's pretty spicy. That's pretty spicy. Oh my god, get out of my... There's a hair. And a bus. Okay, um, we're going to just gain a resource, I think, <laughs> for our last action. Okay. I still feel like I haven't done anything. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What do we discard here? Probably get rid of a knot without a fight here, I think. Four of six. Oh my god, I feel like I've done nothing. Test foot three. If you fail the nearest moves, to, there are no searching counter deck and spawn it normally. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, we'll commit... We'll go five to three for this. We'll go six to three. Sweet. I think we're also gonna like maybe grab this Eureka here as well. Just while we're here. Salas, what do you got? Right, this one. So you must either reveal the top three cards of your deck or and reveal them and remove them from the game or place a doom. So we'll just remove them. Ooh, we draw that. We remove that. That's fine. That's ultimately actually like pretty minor. Okay. Min. Let's get some clues. We have four, five, six to three. Minus two, that'll go grab us a clue. And a resource. Let's go again, six to three. Hey, hey. Honestly, you love to see it. There should be a clue here as well. So I think this is enough. We had four. I think we should have seven. We got three? I, yeah, I think we should have seven. I think we should have seven clues. Um, let's do this, though. Evidence. One. 
there are no clues, pick up the key. It takes several minutes to study the ornate arches in the entryway. The designs are both intricate and intriguing, a far cry from the generic engravings you see on, mo on most buttresses of this kind. Odd symbols and images resembling excerpts from occult tones adorn every inch of the stonework, though you do not recognize many of them. What reason did Wycliffe have to include these designs? Remember that we studied the architecture. I'll write that down. I spelled a bad on this, but I think we'll be fine. I think I'll remember that. Okay, so we need to come back here. The Victory 1's a little bit spicy, especially if it refills. Um, so we're going to move up here. And then Silas, you're going to do this. And then we're going to check out probably the Master Bedroom first. Sorry, is there text? No. I've just covered the last clue on Master Bedroom. Remember that you found a strange ornament. And we can spend eight clues to read this. Beautiful. And then we have to sh shuffle a non-weakness card. I think I'm okay to draw this later. Okay. Upkeep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, eight. Boom. Five of six. Excuse me. Evil card. We're going to start getting the enemies. Plus one fight and alert. Okay. And then we get a cleaner. Okay. Silas can deal with this cleaner, probably. I think it's more important that he goes and helps Min. We need Min to do more things. So. He moves in here. He attacks this man. says three it's going to take us two attacks so we can spend like one of these to put us up to six to three uh, and then we'll commit this uh resourceful i think is there something i want to get back here yeah yeah actually probably that stunning blow is fine but we also could just like not because we're gonna have to shuffle anyway we just do the um overpower we can't commit this because we're not engaged with an enemy so we have four, five, six, eight to three. Hey, you love to see it. Ah, now we commit the stunning blow. Ho oh, ho. Then we return this to our hand. So we're gonna hit this guy for one and exhaust him. And this comes back into our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think for our last action, we're going to... We can't spawn him here. So let's just kill this guy. Um, and we will commit... We're going to have to discard a card anyway. Overpower replaces itself. So... Uh, tricky. What's our other weakness in Silas again? Just went away. Just went away. I just need to know. I just need to know, game! God, it's just muggy today. Ah, yes, it's that tarot card. It's the tarot card. The devil. Okay. What do we get rid of here? Yeah, well, we're going to have to get rid of this anyway, right? So we have 10 to 3. Sick. This dude's dead. Put him in the bin. All right. He's going to attack me at the end of the round. But Min has something to do. She's going to move up here. Um, we have found a strange ornament. That's not only we need to do there, but we need to do that over here. So that's good. Okay, spend 
eight clues as a group. Let's do that just after we get one more clue, I suppose would be the correct way of doing this. Uh, we have four, five, six to three. That is pretty good, so uh, we'll commit this to go seven to three. Maybe we can find something else we want. Cool. We'll grab a clue. And we'll look at the top three. Uh-oh. A little bit of a lag. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. deduction, please. I'm grabbing the deduction because... Did I shuffle a card back? I don't think I shoveled a card back. Sorry. So, you know what? We're going to just do that again. We shuffle. Can't be you. Well, I mean, I suppose it could be you. But we're going to shuffle Guts back. Okay. Now, sorry, no, no, no. Now we look at the top three. Oh. I think it's going to be the Arcane Enlightenment. Because that allows us to... Sorry, we're going to spend the eight clues we have. To read Evidence 4. In the headboard... Um, in the headboard of Wycliffe's bed, you uncover a panel in the wood that conceals a thin leather-bound journal. Its entries cover his thoughts since he moved to Arkham, and there is a clear transition within the last two weeks where his pleasant optimism about the expeditions is replaced with a deep dread. The short form doesn't reveal all the details you would have liked, but he writes that he has discovered the terrible truth of his former colleagues and that he must keep the Mechanian uh, artifacts from them. We have read Wycliffe's journal. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, for our last action, we're going to play the Arcane Enlightenment. Because it protects us against the uh, King in Yellow, which is important. All right, upkeep phase, we'll one over here. That's a huge draw. That's huge, huge. Upkeep here, we're gonna discard some cards and take some damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to discard. Uh, that's weird, I know, but we're going to do it. And then we're also going to discard um, this emergency cash. Cool. And then we get attacked, and by we, I mean my things that soak damage and horror for me. And then this advances. Let me guess. All at once, a great commotion sounds from the front house. Men in dark suits file inside with weapons drawn and other tools at hand. They spread throughout the manor with driven purpose, working to erase everything you're working toward. Your interference has become a priority problem to these men. Put the set aside TikTok men into play next to the agenda deck, shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the deck. Ooh, they're next to the agenda deck. Uh, TikTok men are considered to be at each reveal location. After any amount of damage is placed on TikTok men, disengage TikTok men from each investigator. After you TikTok men, flip them over and resolve the text on the other side. Uh, that's interesting. All right. These additional agents, um has sped up your schedule considerably. If you don't deal with them and soon, then they'll quickly erase everything you've worked to discover. Uh, at the end of your of the round, if TikTok men are in a location with any amount of clues on them, place one doom on TikTok men. During your turn, place one of your clues on your location, engage TikTok men. Okay, this is, my brain is having a problem here. I'm gonna have to read this again. Sorry, there should be two clues on this location as well. Whoop. So this lightning bolt is just a free... All 
All right. This lightning bolt's just a free engage, right? That's all this is. Like I'm not crazy, right? That's all this is. It's just a, it's just a free engage. Because if they're at, consider be at each revealed location, I can just engage them. But then you only get one attack with them. So the best thing to do is you need to have Min and Silas at the same location. Min grabs them, evades them. And we just gotta slowly kill them. So make sure not to evade them. But if if I attack them, they also just disengage. They're still aloof, so make sure not to evade them. So even if they're evaded, they their aloof makes it so that you're not you can't attack them, even though you can attack evaded enemies at your location. Is this one of those dumb Arkham rules that I'm just learning about today because this game is filled with dumb rules? Aloof. An investigator cannot attack an aloof enemy while that enemy is not engaged with the investigator. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. So probably killing these guys is a priority. But it takes so many actions to do it. Yeah, they accumulate doom every round. From each investigator. Garbage. Okay. What can we do here? What is our plan? We still need to draw our Mythos cards, so let's let's go there. Let's just see what we get before we start building a plan. Silas can just engage fight on his own if Min is out of clues. It's true, but anytime he deals damage to him, they disengage, so I can deal two damage a turn, which actually equals the amount that I'll lose by, because I need to take five turns to do it. So they definitely need to work together to kill them. And that makes it a lot harder. <laughs> All right, we'll reveal the top three and burn them. Okay. So... Is Silas just going to get slowly assassinated by this cleaner? That's the question we have to ask today. Man, that aloof, even when they're evaded, is makes no sense. Like, aloof when they're active, to me, flavorfully makes sense because, you know, they're not there. But they're evaded and they just go like, wispy, walk out the window. They're like, sorry, we're not here. Even though you took the time to evade us, we're not here. Okay. Silas can keep taking shots from this guy. We don't want to take a lot of shots from this guy.
Broke, how's it going? I'm currently trying to solve a puzzle. And it's a tricky one to solve. This guy's evade. Two, he doesn't have alert, so we could try to go five to two. That is pretty good. We want to get this out, the Dream Diary that do, does enemies. I think that's going to be pretty important. Man, this is going to eat up so much of my time to get through this. But we can't just ignore it, because then we only get five turns... Oh my god, this is stressful. What do we do? I do think realistically trying to evade this guy at 5 to 3 is good, and if we fail, then we have to worry about it. So we just don't fail. That's easy. Alright, then we're going to investigate this location at 6 to 3. Uh, one. Minus one. So, grab a resource. And plus one sanity. So we have found strange ornament. I think Silas does need to solve this problem this turn. I think that's more important. So we're going to shortcut. We have one action left. We, yep. So we're going to shortcut into this location. If you have 12 or more cards in your hand, read Evidence 2 under the Scenario Interlude. Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of time. But like we need the evidence, right? Like luckily we can get there not too bad. But I think what's important is grabbing this other Dream Diary out. Because then we're ready for enemies. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, lots of clues. But the thing is, do I... 
Do I use them to engage the TikTokers for free? Because the thing is, Min can't attack them if she can engage them, right? Like, she can't really do much against them. So is it better for her to just spend her time trying to advance the agenda? Like, uh, sorry, the act, try to get our goal, right? It's tricky. It's pretty tricky to figure out the best line here. Um, Silas is going to place this man here. And then we're going to attack him at six to three. Silas can still attack them if they're engaged with men. Yeah, we get one free, um, we get one free of engage with it. But then Silas, so we can get, working together, we get two attacks a turn. Which is good, especially like, uh, it's so it's hard. It's gonna, it's a lot of work. Um, we're gonna attack this guy at six to three and then just not miss. What did I say? What the heck did I say? All right, we're gonna go again. We'll commit this overpower for this one and go six to three again. Nice. We need this, so we'll draw a card to replace it. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so let's get this punk out of here. Okay. Boom. Okay, if, since our lightning bolts can't silence attack three times before each time Min spends a clue, during your turn, you place one of your clues on your location. And then you engage them. So it has to be, they have to be during Min's turn. Yeah, no, that's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky. You don't get a clue. What am I doing Get putting a clue on you? Let's grab a doom. There we go. Okay, I'll keep. Unrelenting's in this deck too? Wow, I love this card. <laughs> if there aren't any clues on the map, they don't collect doom. It's true. Uh, this place refills with clues though, each turn. So, um, they're both four, so I can choose the direction they go to. Um, so there's that. I can do that to my advantage. Uh, still, just a lot of a lot of a lot of go juice required. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what we need is Silas to grab some clues. If we can have Silas grab some clues, then maybe we're looking okay. <laughs> oh, did I cheat? I think I cheated last turn. Okay. I need to go back in time. Because I cheated last turn. This guy should still be in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is how we were last turn. Yeah, the one resource we put into this. So first we move here. We have to shuffle a card away. I think it's gonna be not without a fight. And then we put this guy out here, and then we try to attack and we'll commit this overpower. So we have eight to three. This is minus two, I believe. So we could actually return this to our hand. Okay. Honestly, that's actually probably better. And then we do our upkeep, and now we're okay. Okay, all right. Boom, now we're good. First evil card of this round. Test brain three. If you fail, take one horror and put it into your play. Your maximum hand size reduced to two. You have to discard two more cards during upkeep. Discard impossible perspective. Cool design. We have five to three. I do want to pass this, so we're going to go seven to three. Hey, we'll return this to our hand. We'll Silas it. Bump that up. Sweet. Silas, not an enemy. What did I say? Spawn empty location. Sure. 
Empty location. Start the enemy phase. If arsonist is ready, you must choose. Either each investigator at arsonist location discards an asset he or she controls or takes one direct damage. Place one doom on arsonist. Yeah, he's burning the freaking house down. You return it after the test ends. Oh, baby. That's just value. Okay. Min can take a hint from this guy. She has a lot of health left. Man, the aloof evade really throws a wrench in things. One mingo first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to investigate at six to three. Are Doom Tokens acting like a timer or do they do something? Yeah, so Meat Bomb, um, I don't know if you've played Arkham Horror, um, but Doom Tokens increase the amount, uh, basically they increase the time the game is playing against you. Uh, they decrease the time you have to play. So this is my Doom Threshold of 10. That counts both the Doom placed on it and all Doom in play. So um, this guy is basically having my time unless I do something about him. So we got to do something about him while also making our own game plan work. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah, we're going to investigate. We have six to three. We really need to hit this, but we have a lucky. Sure. <laughs> we'll grab a clue. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we really need to hit this one at six to three. Minus two. Minus four. Yeah, it's non-Euclidean. It's not non-Euclidean. So we get a clue. So now for our last action, we're going... Oh my god, we can hit... Uh, we uh, we just have to hope we don't hit the book, the King in Yellow. It's a little bit spooky, but we are going to do it. We're going to spend to draw six. Two, three, four. Come on, come on. Oh, yes! All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. So, we can now read Evidence 2 under the Scenario Interlude. Among the mountains of papers, you uncover a small stack of newspaper ex uh, excerpts. The articles concern topics that you yourself would normally investigate. Many are reports of cult activities from various newspapers around the world, photographs of profane idols and claims of dark influence fill each page. Worse still are the stories of mysterious deaths from those even tangentially connected to these events. Wycliffe has meticulously examined the articles highlighting several passages of events that bear some resemblance to the trials you face tonight, particularly those concerning ancient runes, vile fish creatures, and a malevolent deity whose followers call Cthulhu. The papers here show that Wycliffe was by no means a cultist, rather someone who discovered this grim reality by mistake. We have read the clippings. Okay, what do we got here? So, we've studied the architecture, read the news clipping, and the journal. So we have three of six. Sorry? Three of seven. Yes. Whew. I don't think we should expect to get seven. If we can get like four or five, we're gonna be happy. Okay. Silas, are you ready to investigate? <laughs> 
Silas, are you ready to investigate? We're going to commit resourceful. For two. So we're at four to three. We're going to go five to three. And I'm going to seal the minus four. The minus four. Okay, that's the bad one. Actually, it's probably still better to just draw cards, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll seal the plus one, the zero, and the zero here. We, I think drawing cards is just better. Okay, so this now puts us up to two, so we're at five to three. We'll use Min's ability to go six to three here. So that's two, four, so we're at six. We're gonna commit this deduction to go eight to three using Min's ability. So we're at eight to three. Zero is sealed. That one is not sealed. Uh, there's no conspirator at our location. We do not lose resources. We're going to return the unrelenting to our hand because we do not need the two from that. Because we had six. So yeah, we will discover two clues at our location. Good job, Silas. Shortcut. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh, yes, the TikTok men are conspirators. Good call, Meat Bomb. Good call. So we lose that resource. Which actually does make this a little bit harder. But maybe we just, like, don't. Um, this we also can return a card. What do we want to return? Probably not without a fight. It's just kind of clean. We haven't returned a card yet. But that was action one. So the good news is that, like, now that they can also kind of, like, work together... Hmm. We're going to return a clue to our location and engage these men temporarily. Let's get some nice big tokens for their health. All right, we attack them. With the axe, we have four, five, seven to three. That beats the minus four. Hey, I'm from the future. Cool, we'll draw a card. And deal two damage to those guys because we have no resources in our resource pool thanks to the conspirator um, and Meat Bomb making sure I'm playing correctly. All right, so then we disengage from them. We're going to put another clue on our location to do that again. Uh, and then Min might as well just help with this because she's going to have to discard these cards anyway. So this commits for four. <laughs> so he's at eight. I mean, Min can also, like, fight them on her own, too. She deals minimal damage, but, like, that's better than nothing, right? Yeah, this is so tricky, man. Because then we got this guy doing his problem, too. So Silas might need to go take some time off to do that as well. Dino Corgi, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. So let's go again. Uh, we have a... Uh, I haven't used Silas's ability yet, so I might as well put this in here, too. So then we have 10 to 3. Is this the LCG? It is the LCG. We'll return this to our hand. Or did we already do that with Unrelenting? We already did that with Unrelenting. I'm dumb. But they'll take two more damage. They only have six health left. 
Okay. Enemy phase. We're going to actually have this guy go to Min. She can take the damage and she'll be okay. She's much more defensive than Silas is. I mean, Silas has a lot more, but like he's going to have to deal with even more things than this. Uh, and then we go upkeep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm keeping this just in case I need it. I don't think I do. But better to be safe than sorry, right? We don't need the resources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry, this actually added for 6. Got out of here, Yaddle. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we place a doom on this man. Place a doom here and a doom here. So we have two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Evil cards. As if things weren't bad enough. There's no copy of Warp Stonework attached to your location. Attach it, uh, otherwise it gains Surge. So to move directly to location, move, okay. Attached location gains non-Euclidean. Instead, move directly to a location that is not connected to the attached location. That's actually helpful, but it could be really bad. I love it though, I think that card's sick. And then Silas, not an enemy. Surge. What did I say by not an enemy? I mean, we can still tank this guy for a bit. Okay. Ah, oh, frick, man. This is hard. She's gonna evade this guy. I think we're gonna start there. So this commits for six, so we have eight to two. Yeah, good job, man. That's a pretty strong card. <laughs> commits for six wild, pretty strong. Okay, we're going to... Oh God, yeah. It just seems so, tr so tough. I think we're gonna move here because of the non-Euclidean. So let's go to the servants' quarters. Investigators discard cards from their hands as a group with a total of eight skill icons. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard for my skill-based decks. Actually, you know what, let's just put this into our hand too while we're here. <laughs> I mean, we could probably do this all by ourselves. Actually, we should probably do this with like minor card use as well. It's a lightning bolt though, so there's no point in us doing this right now. We're gonna scrounge for supplies for our last action and bring that deduction back into our hand. 
And we're going to try to repeat what we've just did. Cool. Silas, you're going to also move over here because of the non-Euclidean. And then you're going to... We're going to investigate at our location. We're going to start there, I think. So we have 2v2. This is going to make us to 4v2. Resourceful. We're going to turn it on relenting. We'll go 6v2. 8v2. Oh, sorry, I should have done this first. So let's just go back. Uh, we're going to seal plus 100 zero, zero to draw 2. It's just too strong not to. So then we're at 4v2. Four, 8v2 uh, four with 6v2 uh, with men's ability. 8v2 with men's ability. 8v2. Sweet. I'm going to return the unrelenting to my hand. And then grab... You know, we're just going to grab the knot without a fight, I think. And grab two clues here. This seems like a great uh, location to be doing our shenanigans are on. But I think instead we actually kind of want to mitigate our... Mitigate our doom bleeding, right? We can't kill this guy. We have to kill this guy perfectly. We could move there and then like try to do a bunch next turn. That's so freaking tricky, man. All right, but we're going to do this so we can go four, six, six, sorry, one, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven. You know, we're going to start with Silas because he's going to have to discard some cards. So we'll go three, we're going to discard emergency cash, we'll go six. Honestly, we're going to do that. So we can do um, Evidence 5. Evidence 5, you say. It takes you several minutes to treat the valet's injury and rouse him to his senses, taking care not to alert the assassins further. The, elder the elderly man looks up at you blearily, but with the motivation of duty. Master James, is he? You shake your head curtly, and the valet gives a despairing sigh. The poor man, I should have listened to his warnings, but he had been so erratic these past days. He would shut himself in his room for hours at a time, only emerging to seek some atlas or geographical book, but I never would have imagined that any of that would lead to. The valet's voice quavers and he buries his face in his hands. You tell him to stay out of sight until the coast is clear. We found the valet. So we have four of five. Oh, if at least five of the following are true, we may choose to advance. What are we at? Two, four, five. So we're going to be at three, six, eight. Oh my God. I mean, I do know killing the TikTok men is just going to give us a whole lot of notice. I know that. I know that to be true. All right. Let's bring this guy out. Yeah. Oh my God. It's just eating so many of my actions. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Emergency cash can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. This guy gets a doom. These guys get a doom. So we're at three, six, eight. Get these cleaners out of here, man. No one likes them. Sure. Oh, I see a change. Our Puma's on the bottom, huh? So we have to place a Doom on the current agenda because we can't reveal the top three cards. Eight of ten. Eight of ten. We might have to just like resign. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we might just have to get out of here. <sighs> I just don't think we can do this because with all these dudes that just showed up and this guy here. So yeah, we're just gonna go one, two, take, um, boom, boom. Is there one last thingy we can do? Um, we'd have to move in here, spawn this room and then probably get all the clues off it. So it's at least two actions to get there. I'm gonna assume from a blind pro playthrough, I'm gonna make the Decision that no, we're not going to be able to. So one, two, we'll resign. Okay. Resolution one. The assassins prove to be more than you could handle given the ordeals you've already undergone tonight, but you retreat from Wycliffe's manor with your life. No amount of evidence will be any use if you can't survive to apply it. You bind your wounds and try to recover from the aura of madness that lingered around the estate. Whoever or whatever these assassins work for holds a terrible power over the mind. You may not fully comprehend the enemy, but you'll have to pursue, uh, pursue them all the same if you wish to dispel this conspiracy and avenge Wycliffe. We were forced to withdraw. Um, excuse me, mark one notice. Let's get to resolution four. Uh, with dawn breaking over Arkham and exhaustion dragging at, uh, at your body, you finally return to your home for some well-deserved sleep. It has been an arduous night in all regards, but you can recuperate in the relative safety of the day. Rest may not come easy, but it is vital for you to be in peak condition to fight the conspiracy that still looms around you. We are in Victory X, which I think is actually going to be kind of low, but we did have a lot of victory in other places. Yeah, it's just one, actually. Just Victory 1. So just one experience. Um, crumbling Masonry. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to peek at a few things. I want to see what was on the other side of stuff. First, let's start by looking at this location. Oh, God, that's a nightmare. I'm glad we did not do that. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't even try. Interesting, cool. Man, I think if this guy wasn't here and we didn't get those enemies in the last little bit, we probably could have been okay. But I do think resigning was the correct choice in a blind playthrough, I, I think anyway. But the story will continue in the next one, Crumbling Masonry. We only got one um, experience, so the notice is gonna slow down a little bit from that one. We did do really good in the first two scenarios. So I think it's only fair that it slows down a bit. It just has the balance, right? It just has to balance. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. And as always...
GG's.